Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Today I'm showing you how to turn a simple USB stick into a fully portable Google TV. Just plug it into any computer and boom, instant smart TV with Play Store, YouTube in 4K, Netflix, Disney Plus, everything. We'll grab the free Google TV files, make the USB bootable with Rufus, and boot straight into Google TV. Ready to carry a complete smart TV in your pocket? Let's jump in. First, grab the special Google TV package I prepared for you. The direct download link is in the description below. It's completely free and safe. Click it, download the zip file, then right-click the zip and choose Extract All. Once it's extracted, you'll see two things inside the folder, a Google TV 13 ISO file and another folder called Storages. The ISO is the operating system, and the Storages folder has pre-made storage files from 4 gigabytes all the way up to 64 gigabytes. We'll use the 16 gigabyte one today since we're working with a 32 gigabyte USB. Next, we need Rufus, the free tool that makes USB drives bootable. Open your browser, type rufus.ie, hit enter, and download the latest portable version. No installation needed, just run it when the download finishes. Now plug in your USB drive. I'm using a fast 32 gigabyte Anything 16 gigabytes or bigger works, but 32 or 64 gives the smoothest experience. Rufus should detect your USB automatically. Click the Select button in Rufus, then choose the Google TV 13 ISO file you extracted earlier. Super important step coming up. Look for the slider called Persistent Partition Size. Drag it all the way to the right so it uses every bit of free space on your USB. This prepares room for our huge storage later. Now we need to choose between MBR and GPT. Here's the easy way to know which one your PC needs. Press Windows key plus R, type msinfo32, and hit Enter. In the window that opens, look for the line that says BIOS mode. If it says UEFI, choose GPT in Rufus. If it says Legacy, choose MBR. Most computers from the last eight years are UEFI, so GPT is usually correct. Leave the file system as FAT32, then click Start. Rufus will warn you that everything on the USB will be erased. That's normal. Click OK. Go grab a drink. This takes about five to eight minutes. When Rufus says ready, we're halfway there. But if you boot now, you'll only get about 3 gigabytes of usable space, basically useless. So let's fix that and unlock the full power of our 32 gigabyte drive. Right click the start button and choose disk management. Find your USB drive in the list at the bottom. It'll have two partitions now, one tiny boot partition and a bigger one. Right click the bigger one partition and choose delete volume. Confirm it. The space will turn black and say unallocated. Right-click that unallocated space. Choose New Simple Volume. Click Next all the way. Use the maximum size. And when it asks for file system, pick XFAT. Important note, sometimes the XFAT option is not visible in this menu. If that happens, just choose either FAT32 or NTFS. I went with NTFS to be safe. Give it any name you like. I'll call mine GTV, then finish. Once the new volume is created, open this PC, right-click the volume you just created, and choose Format. Now, the XFAT option will definitely appear under File System. Select it and click Start. Now open the small boot partition on your USB. You'll see a file called System.SFS. Cut that file and paste it into the big NFTS partition you just created. Next, go back to the extracted folder. Open the Storages folder, and you'll see several data file options ranging from 4 gigabytes up to 64 gigabytes. The choice here depends on the size of your USB key to ensure it fits properly without issues. For example, a 16 gigabyte USB pairs best with the 8 gigabyte data file a 32GB USB with a 16GB data file, and a 64GB USB with a 32GB data file. I'll choose the 16GB option today, as the 32GB version would be too large for my key. Right-click your selected file, 
extract it, and inside you'll see data.img. Copy that huge data.img file and paste it into the big NTFS partition on your USB. This might take three to five minutes because it's big. Just let it finish. That's it. Your USB is now fully loaded with Google TV and tons of storage. One quick thing before we boot. Most modern PCs have secure boot turned on, and it will block Google TV from starting. So restart your computer, mash the key to enter BIOS, usually F2, F10, or F12, and look for secure boot under the boot or security tab. Set it to disabled, save and exit. Now restart again, but this time press the boot menu key repeatedly. The key is different for every brand. Just Google your laptop or motherboard model plus boot menu key. For me, on Dell, it's F12, on HP, it's F9, on Lenovo, F12, on ASUS, it's F8. When the menu appears, select your USB drive. You'll see the Google TV boot screen with a few options. Pick the first one then. If your screen stays black, reboot and try the one that says external display. First boot takes a minute or two while it sets everything up. Be patient. When the welcome screen appears, choose your language, Skip the phone setup if you want. Connect to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Sign in with your Google account. Hit Continue on the privacy screen. Click No Thanks for personal results. Select Chromecast as your device name. Click through the brief feature tour. And boom, you're on the real Google TV home screen. Open the Play Store, install Netflix, YouTube, whatever you want. You now have over 20 gigabytes free for apps and games. Mouse and keyboard work perfectly, and it even supports Bluetooth remotes. Quick reminder, if this just blew your mind and you want more crazy useful tutorials like this, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That's it, folks. You now have a fully portable Google TV that works on any computer, anywhere. Plug it into your office PC, your friend's laptop, even an old mini PC, instant smart TV. Drop a comment and tell me what you're installing first, Netflix, Kodi, or maybe some games? I read every single one. Link to everything is in the description. See you in the next one. Stay passionate.